You know, this is rem- reminding me of a, of a leadership uh, <laughs> a leadership program I used to teach called Situational Leadership. And in Situational Leadership, uh, we taught different ways to lead people based on where where the person was. We taught leaders how to diagnose where the person was, both in their competency or their ability to do the task and in their motivation to do the task. And then based on what their competency and their motivation was, the leader would lead differently. And it really looks like, to me, Holy Spirit is using situational leadership, too, here. Because when someone is what we call developmental level one, which means their competency is low, but their um, motivation is high, all you really need to do is tell them what to do because they're going to try. They have a lot of motivation. But if somebody's competency is low, they don't know how to do the task, and their motivation is low, maybe they got frustrated because they found out the task was harder than they thought, then in addition to telling them how, you also have to explain to them why it's important, why it's helpful. And it looks like for the first couple of days here, Holy Spirit was just telling me what to do. So I was probably at developmental level one. I didn't know what I needed to do, so Holy Spirit was telling me what I needed to do. I needed to rest the mind. But I was motivated and willing. Now it looks like after a couple days of trying to rest the mind and not really feeling very successful at it, (laughs) I'm starting to feel frustrated. I'm starting to feel like a loser. Uh, So Holy Spirit is now moving to the next level and starting to give me a little bit of whys here. And he's reminding me that everything I'm concerned about doesn't exist. And the only thing that makes it seem to exist is my concern. And if I continue to be concerned, if I stay caught up in this concern and this worry, I'm going to continue to experience everything that's making me worry. And that if I want to move to a place of peace, then I really need to let go of the concern first. Because the things that seem to be making me concerned aren't going to disappear until I let go of the concern because the concern is the cause. So he's really moving in now to tell me a little more about why I want to continue to stick with this endeavor of resting. Uh, He's helping me to see exactly why it's important. He's reminding me of cause and effect. And of course, as a very early student of the course, I mean, I'm a year into it now, but still pretty early, I really needed a, a strong reminder on cause and effect because you know how easy it is to forget that causes the mind, to think that the cause is, you know, the mover's not showing up on time or the person that you're transferring the task to not learning it well enough or or whatever, whatever it is that you're worried about. You keep thinking that's the problem. And so you're not resting the mind because you think you've got to figure out how to solve that problem. And as long as you're not resting the mind, you continue to create problems. So Holy Spirit comes in again. Remember, cause is in the mind. Those problems are not going to go away as long as you keep being worried and concerned. What we need to do is rest the mind and then allow the universe to answer to your rest so that everything will just work out. But everything's not going to just work out if you keep being concerned. Cause is in the mind. You're creating your own ripples. You're creating your own storm. So it was a very important message now because now he's, he's, he's again, he's giving me motivation when I was about to lose the motivation because I thought I just couldn't do this. Very good leadership technique. He must have been in my situational leadership two class. <laughs> I taught it about 50 times. He was probably there all 50 times, learning very well. But a very good leadership technique, uh, helping me to remain motivated just as I was about to lose my motivation.